Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at something that is different. This is not your average polymer frame striker fire 9mm handgun. It's called the Archon Type B by PTR. Now we know PTR from making rifles and other pistols. This they have a handgun. They acquired this two years ago approximately from Arsenal Firearms. Now I remember seven years ago Arsenal Firearms had the Strike 1. That's what this is, and it evolved to the Type B Gen 2. And it is very different. Let me begin with some of the features. It comes with a 15 and an 18 round mag. It's in the case I'm going to show you that. And the grip is modular. So here we have a Talon grip all throughout, but it also has this piece here. Now this is a spacer. You could put this in between these two that's already connected and then that would bring it down to approximately here and you could use the 18 round magazine. So basically what you would have is a Glock 19X style grip. So as it sits now it hangs out a little bit. You put that spacer in there. It drops this and it is a flush fitting magazine with 18 rounds. It comes with a couple different back straps, this hard case, and once again, PTR. So that right there is kind of cool. It gives you flexibility. If you'd go with that spacer, then you would need this longer back strap to fit nice and flush with that fill-in piece. And then you could use the 18 round mags and they give you an additional set of pins. Okay, but the handgun itself is, is very nice. They have this indentation there in the slide for the press checks. Nice firm feel there. You'll notice a flat trigger, very nice. And, and the deployment with the magazines is, is very strong. Has those ribs on the bottom of it, in case you need to pull it out. Very well built mags. 4.3 inch barrel. All right, so it's not a four inch barrel like you may think offhand. And then here we have serrated black rear sights, a fiber optic front sight. Now, they make these optic ready. All right, we'll show the sight picture there. They make them optic ready, that's called the OR model. They make them with the threaded barrel, suppressor ready, that's called the SR model, suppressor ready, or the OSR, which combines all those. Optic suppressor ready. I mentioned the modular grip. Let's talk about the trigger. Here we're looking at a four and a half pound trigger pull with a reset very short. But there's another thing that makes this very different. And I want to show you that because it's called the AF speed lock system. If I lock the slide back, you will notice that the barrel doesn't tilt. This does not tilt at all and it's not a fixed barrel so let's take a look at that what I'm going to do is pull the slide back a little bit this pin right here I'm going to push it and with some help with a punch a ballpoint pen would work and I'm going to pull that out now this pin does not come out okay stay with me on this because this is super cool here we have a recoil spring that fits rather tight. It is uncaptured steel guide rod. So it has three springs on there. And then this is what I wanted to show you. This piece right here. This is a barrel locking block, right? So what happens is with this installed, this locking block moves upward and downward. So the barrel stays flat. The barrel does not necessarily move like the tilt barrels this goes up and down I'll show you this way and this will decrease the recoil along with keeping you accurate because it'll keep the barrel stable that goes up and down like that and therefore you have a nice smooth shooting platform to work with which is which is very interesting I've never seen a system like that and so when what do I got going on here push this in just like that and then you can take a look at the the trigger the way the way all that is 
installed on there, it's very different than your average polymer 9 millimeter. Then to get that pin back in, you want to pull it back approximately that much. Where is it? You have to find that sweet spot. I didn't have this pin fully extended. This needs to be all the way out. It was pushed in a little bit and it was hanging up on the internals. So basically what you want to do is pull it back approximately right there. Find that sweet spot and it's back and put together. So that pin has to be fully extended when doing that. Black nitride throughout. Very well built. It has some texturing right there memory bumps they call that the flat trigger it has a undercut in the trigger guard some texturing in the front a four slot picatinny rail extended beaver tail nice overall feel i mentioned 4.3 inch barrel i really like what they did with that barrel locking block i think that's going to help with the recoil i did not fire this yet once again this is the archon Type B from PTR, PTR, okay, they're, they're getting into handguns now, and they did with this. Now, once again, this was an evolution to get to this point. You can see the T right there for talon grip, so they, they went with the talon grips, and the trigger is so nice with that reset right there. Oh, I didn't quite, right there, audible reset. I am going to get this to the range. I'm, I'm impressed with it. I would like to have the Optic Ready model. This one is not, but they do have those available along with suppressor barrels that extend a little bit. Usually it's about three quarters of an inch once you get those and one half by 28 threads on there. But Archon Firearms by PTR. This is the uh, Gen 2 Type B, or Type B Gen 2. There it is. Nice looking handgun. Very tight. Machined well. Easy disassemble. And low recoil. And people who have shot these will tell you they it is low recoil and a very low bore access. I don't think I mentioned that, but there it is. Nice looking handgun. Well featured handgun. If, if I... Keep this, I'm going to go with the extended grip in the 18 round mags opposed to the 15 round mags. Pretty sure you would do that too. But that's what we're looking at. It's not your average Palmer Frame Striker Fire handgun. That part, I will tell you. And I hope that I demonstrated that quite well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.